Hey guys, Keith Brown, Tack Room Devotional. Grab your Bibles, open it up to 1 Corinthians chapter 1, verse 30 through 31. This is our foundational or, or reference uh, scripture. But of him you are in Christ Jesus, who became for us wisdom from God, righteousness and sanctification and redemption, that as it is written, he who glories, let him glory in the Lord. Now, last week we talked about this. We are in him. Therefore, we have the wisdom of God. We are his righteousness. We are sanctified, set apart, and uh, consecrated for him and for his work. And we are redeemed. Hallelujah. Why? Not because of us. Our identity doesn't come from what we accomplish or what we, how we perform. It comes because we are in him. In Christ Jesus, we know and have all these things. In Christ Jesus, I can flow and operate in the grace of God, in the wisdom of God, in the peace of God. And by faith, I can do that. Amen. Um, so, let's see. Yesterday, we left off with reading about the gospel of grace. And I gave you several scriptures there that talk about uh, this grace that's been given to us because of what Christ left, uh, uh, did for us at Calvary. And we left off in Matthew chapter 16, verse 13 through 19. Jesus uh, uh, came into the region of Caesarea Philippi. He asked his disciples, saying, Who do men say that I, the Son of Man, am? Now again, I left you with this. They were asking the others, or, he, or Jesus was asking them, who, who do the other people say that I am? And they said, some say John the Baptist, some say Elijah, others say Jeremiah or one of the prophets. And then he said to them, but who do you say that I am? And that's where I left you yesterday. Who do you say that I am? Who do you say that Jesus is? Let's see what happens. Simon Peter answers and said, you are the Christ the Son of the living God. Now, interesting thing, and we've talked about this in the past because we've studied this passage. The next thing that Jesus says, he says, Blessed are you, Simon Bar-Jonah. He didn't say Peter, did he? He said Simon Bar-Jonah. That was his original name. If you go back and look, Jesus ca started calling him Peter. And you know what Peter means? Petros, which is the rock. Blessed are you, Simon Barjona, for flesh and blood has not revealed this to you, but my Father who is in heaven. In other words, you received this revelation not from a natural way, but you received it from God himself. And he says, I also say to you that you are Peter. Now see, he just called him Simon Barjona, and now he says, but you are Peter. Why? Because Peter talks about a small rock which came off of a bigger rock. And he says, you are Peter, or Petros, and on this rock, now he's talking about the big rock, I will build my church. What rock? It's the rock of the revelation of Jesus Christ. Peter said, thou art the Christ, the son of the living God. And Jesus said, blessed are you because this revelation came from my Father who is in heaven. And then he says, and you, Peter, little rock, you came from the bigger rock. And he says, I'm going to build my church upon the rock of, of revelation, which is the rock that, of, of the fact that Jesus is the Christ. Okay, now it's not built upon the rock of, of Peter. It's built upon the rock of revelation that Jesus is the Christ. Amen. And watch what happens when we get a hold of this revelation that he is the Christ. It says, and the gates of hell or gates of Hades shall not prevail against it. That's a powerful statement. Hell itself cannot prevail against the, the revelation that Jesus is the Christ and, 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 and the fact that the church is built upon that. That's the foundation of the church, the Christ. And it goes on to say, and I will give you the keys of the kingdom of heaven. I'm going to give you the keys to it, Peter. Why? Because you have the revelation that Christ... Uh, that I am the Christ. I am the Messiah. Whew. I'll give you the keys of heaven. And whatever you bind on earth shall be bound in heaven. Whatever you loose on earth will be loosed in heaven. This is a 
powerful, powerful statement, foundational. You need to know that Jesus is the Christ. We're going to pick this up again tomorrow. Remember, Jesus loves you. I love you. I pray that God would richly bless you as you diligently seek him and serve him.